deliver. Sheep's cheese. Tomatoes. <laughs> Tomatoes. Let's go uh, explore some more of the city. I think while we're here. We've got a lot of space up northwards. We've got a gate here. We saw some of the barracks and stuff. But let's see if we can't scout out at least the outer edges of the city. What do we have here? What is that? It's just some graves. Ooh. Here lies <laughs> Catherine. I know. I was great. <laughs> okay. I don't have the right tool for digging. Oh my god, the dirt appears to have been freshly dug. If you have a shovel, you can dig here to check for buried treasure. Ew. Not going to go grave robbing. Uh, we might one day, though. This looks pretty epic. Oh, we've got some shrooms. Grab these mushrooms. We're getting all these ingredients. I have no idea what to do with them all yet. Well, we shall work it out in time. Just grab the shroom. And grab the shroom. Lovely. Who have we got in the lead? Let's put the warrior in the lead. Hello. Woof. That's awesome. Let's go talk to him. Because <laughs> we can. Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. Perhaps he wants to tell us something. Perhaps he does. What's up, doggy? Woof, woof. It seems like he's eager to tell you something. Do, Murphy. Let me know. What is this? We can... Oh, right. Hang on. Let's talk to him with the right character. That would help. Jake, where are you? Because you have talent pet power, you can easily converse with animals. Yes. Hey, wow, I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot smell was coming from, and here you are. Wow, this is great. What? I'm Murphy, Jake's dog. Wow, you smell great. Have you been rolling around on dead things all day? That's my favourite hobby too. Yep. He's a dog. Tell me about yourself, doggy. You know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes you just sit here being awesome, and I'd give him this look like, you smell great, and he'd give me this look like, you do too, Murphy, and he was my best friend. <laughs> I love dogs. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. But whether he's buried there, uh, but whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. Oh, no, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. So, about your master's death, boy. Bow. Oh, poor little dude. If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll, I'll bark so much, seriously so much, you have no idea. All right then, doggy. So we need a shovel, which is a bit of a bugger. I don't have the right tool for digging. Mm, I don't think any of us do, do we? Can we make a shovel? Ooh. I don't think we can. We have no kind of metals Rest or anything, do we? Peace, Where are you, Jake? No. Why are you playing without me? Oh, little Jake. So, we should get a shovel. Did that come into my journal? No, no. Nothing about that. Greetings. Who are you? Peace upon you, traveller. May your lost loved ones rest in peace from Siva. Who are you? I once lived a prosperous life with my husband and our happy little daughter, Lonnie. But then the undead plague broke out. My husband uh, was among the first killed. Oh, no. That's pretty dark. Lonnie never recovered from the loss. And when my group of mercenary predators... What? And when a group of mercenaries, predators more aptly called, came to town, dangling the opportunity to annihilate those undead devils, Lonnie lapped up their rhetoric and joined without so much of a backward glance. No way. She was killed less than a week after she joined. Here she lies, and here I stand, mourning the death of my last joy. Bye. Son of a gun, man. Dark times. So we need to find ourselves a shovel. How does one make or buy a shovel? Hmm. So if we get that, the map up here has been complete at least. We have... Let's have a look. Doors here. What does this say? Northwest gate. So it's northwest. I don't really... <laughs> I thought the safe place was west. I don't know for sure. Let's go check Good out. Luck, oh dear, Greetings. Oh Salutations, Legionnaire. What can you tell us about stuff? Now we know that already. What about the Fabulous Five? Yep, you're a big fan as well. And how about the Orcs? Uh, I doubt they'll be bothering any uh, again soon. Now that we've knocked the unfortunate louts aboard that lost raider down size, I doubt there'll be horns darkening our doorway anytime soon. Oh, okay. If there's one thing you can count among their kind, it's animal cowardice. Okay. Um, bye. Bye. I think we have to go west ultimately because this is where. Um, uh, was it not? Oh, I heard the other one. Err, whatever his name is. I oh, look at that thing. That's so cool. What do we have out here? Poison failed. Yeah. Level five zombies. Nah. Nah. We're definitely not going out that way. Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, there it is. <laughs> now this is pretty cool up here. So we've got the long battlements. Oh, I like this. Yeah, really sweet. It's got legionnaires looking out. We've seen a bit more of the territory down here. One day, one day we'll be able to leave this cursed city. 
and actually see the world. Imagine. It's got to be the north gate. Northeast gate. Yeah, this is all all getting a little bit tricksy. I think west is the only way we can go, is it not? Recruits. We'll check out the rest of these training grounds. Than stew. Again. See if they can give us any hints about fighting these undead scumbags. Drill sergeant. Yes, sir. Greetings. Salutations. What do you know about the undead plague? Ah, oh, man. Nothing new. Um, what about you? I'm a legionnaire and happy to help however I can, Source Hunter. Fair enough. It doesn't look like there's much more here. What can you tell me about the orcs? He's attacking Sizeal now. Mostly. I just can't comprehend why they'd even bother with this place at all. No natural resources to speak of, save those that are being trampled underfoot by the sick thud of zombie feet. Bye. You just reminded me of something. Bye! I need to go see the guy I've been calling Cecil. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure his name's Cecil. Isn't he in here? This is uh, Cecil's place, isn't it? No, it's a cook's house. Hold on. Greetings! These oh, I, are for our legion troops. I think. No, we don't need to set a marker, but that's good to know. I think that is Cecil's hoose, is it not? Man, it's all the way back here. I can't even see it from here. Let's get the girls up. Come on, ladies. Look at you all. That's so cool, man. I can't wait to test out the archer. See how she does. Little bear. Little bear, indeed. Marcius. Ah, it's Cecil, there we go. It's the town hall. Let's go check them out, shall we? Hey, guys. I should really put my leader in the lead. Town hall, Mayor Cecil's office. Cecil. You guys coming in? There we go. What do you have? You're stressing out over here. Charlene. All right, All right Charlene. A source hunter. Ah, oh, what a sight for sore Sicilian eyes. Okay, tell me about yourself. Me? I live alone here in town. Used to be that my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip, but that's all changed now. Oh, what happened to Tom? He's always been something of a rascal, calling his petty hooliganism adventuring and endlessly worrying my poor mind. But of course, I've always loved that scamp to bits. For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion. Even got him sparring with Captain Arius now and then. Ah yes, Arius. Arius now and again. Uh, but then those blasted Fabulous Five came into town. Oh, I see. That band of, I don't even know what to call them. Well, they're his heroes, and I simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. That one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them to start on some mission to God knows where. Bye. Hmm, yeah, those guys, eh? Tom the wannabe adventurer, Charlene, Mayor Cecil's maid, uh, said she was looking for her brother Tom. He left to become an adventurer. Man, we are picking up all the stuffs. What are you up to, Mayor? Cecil. Greetings. Greetings. What? Oh, it's you. Come closer and closer. My ears aren't what they used to be, nor my eyes for that matter. Yes. Hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. Hello. Um, oh, you got a library? Hmm. Someone big Oh, once Victoria dead. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, let's have a little bit about the issues in Sizil. What? God damn it. Oh, you mean Sizil. Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and by Source Magic, no less, weren't enough. We're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders, I'd say. The undead are overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beasties. You guys do have it rough. <laughs> That's not to mention that at the top of the whole caboodle, there's rumours of some new religious sect or cult, or some such striking its tendrils into the innocent seven-fearing folks of Sizel. I've met them. I know who they are. And uh, <clears throat> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic I'd rather foolishly sought, a weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. Hmm. What is this Staff of Pergamon? The what of what now? You're speaking gibberish. <laughs> oh, you mean the Staff of Pergamon? Yes, yes, I was experiment I was expecting a shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was this very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through uh, mm, means somewhat atypical to a government official. <laughs> Um, Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant uh, slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I was wondering if you could retrieve it for me. What about the merchant? His name's Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter, a merchant ship still docked at the Sizal Harbour. Fantastic. Uh, you can talk to him if you think it would help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved if you don't mind. Alright then. What about the actual stuff itself? The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in weapons of war. Okay. Uh, I now... Sorry, I now use the material to be... 
I, I know use of the material to be forbidden, but I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm down with that. Um, tell me more about the undead inside all. What, the undead? Yes, for the past two years, those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated this city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sizel's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. That's harsh, man. Um, can you tell me more about Rivalon sects? Interesting. Well, I uh, I do believe that's something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago, Source Hunter. <laughs> but I suppose if if you really don't know, I'd be, remiss if I, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least explain the basics. You see, when a lady and a fellow find each other... Oh, they're rather nice. Well, more than rather nice. They'll occasionally, well, you know... <clears throat> oh, this nonsense. I'm the mayor for seven sake. Hang on, I have to cough. I can't be bothered to chat all day uh, about birds and the bees and sizes under siege by orcs, undead, and cultists. All right, let's... Um, what about Jake's murder? Jake murdered? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now I recall, indeed. I could hardly believe it myself. The councillor and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but old squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Uh, most of the townsfolk here, uh, most of the townsfolk even, are certain Jake's wife Esmeralda is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. Wow. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Freol was always a bit suggestive, but I never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. Let me, yeah, tell me about this Duke of Ferrol. An upright bloke, apart from this Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows uh, the only goal of his business trips to size is spending a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. Mm, fair enough. Um, can you tell me more about your library? I didn't even know that was a topic. That depends. What kind of berries are you interested in exactly? Good gods. Oh, the library. Yes, yes. You must have a visit. It's a gem of size eel. Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Yeah, sure. Why not? Bye. No, no, hello. We'll come with. Man, look at this. Golden books everywhere. <laughs> oh, if only we had a thief in the party. But we don't. Oh, hello. What do we have here? See, so what? Oh, yes, this library is the jewel of Sizel's crown, the beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. My Victoria. Oh, yeah has every volume you could possibly imagine, and she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Yes, Victoria's come a long way from the little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. It brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among her beloved books. Ah, oh, that is awesome. What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs. Now, please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. Bye! Bye. Craziness. Hold on, I'm just sorting out. There we go. Sorting out my timer. So we've got Jahan. Whoa! Victoria's enormous! Who are you, quickly? Omens, Autumn, Mali, Demonis. Quum! Ah, Jahan, what, what is this? Why are you interrupting my musings? By Naga, the protector, they have they have the manners of boars, these boatmen of Sizeel. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken. For you hardly resemble the f local fisher folk, which incidentally is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No, a sauce hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. For I take no pleasure in the company of man, but I may just be to our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Really, what? Who? Why? Why, simply because you hunt sauce and I, Jahan, hunt demons. A demon hunter? You're aware, of course, that often of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Hmm. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. He is huge! This is a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognise. Let there be strength in cunning, yes, but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might of the magician's mastermind, eh? One more condition, he says. Uh, that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Give me your word on this, and I will weave you spells. Hmm. I don't like to make promises I may not be able to keep. I think for now we'll keep our promise. Mwahahaha. <laughs> <laughs> very well. Agreed. Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. This is very true. You speak before your turn. I, for one, am not ready to make that promise. Why would you want to deal with devils? We'll see what he says. 
Agreed. I'm sure we'll force him to leave if things go wrong. Most gratifying. I see you are infirm of purpose and thereby ready to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Awesome. We have a whole crew. Check him out. Jahan, 5-5, five, five, intelligence, 8, 7. What does he come with us? Come to us with? Willpower. Oh my god. Two of these guys. <laughs> Erythrosis. And two hydrosophists. Hydrosophists. Is that water? I wonder if he's got any kind of handy healing type spells. Hey, what's the Scottish? Is she a Scottish orc? I don't know. Um, it's a terrible accent. I should really not do that. Elemental affinity. Yada, yada, yada. He looks like he comes kitted out. What do we have? Chiller target. He's got head vice. Fantastic. Stuff of the Tempest. Minor heal. Woohoo. Oh, right. That's great. Well, it looks like, more or less, you know, I mean, our ranger is, is more of a bear lady girl thing, and our healer is more of a demonologist, but, uh, no, no, it looks good. Don't you dare go stealing stuff, you crazy buggers. All right, where is our little Victoria? I want to talk to her. Greetings. Greetings, Victoria. We've heard so much about you. I can't see you very well. Uh, in the name of Amun Hor, I bid thee, oh my gods. Thus Jageta Halbi, welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. Who are you, madman? We know who you are. Um, yes, let's discuss Aglendar the Elf. Kiri Alithia, or do pardon my language, my friend. Mm, that's interesting swearing. Uh, but that is quite the startling revelation. So much sadness, so much anguish. Mm. Aglendar's tale is heart-trending. Um, though it seems that... Uh, in the pursuit of retribution, he has himself become as great a ghoul as those that wronged him. Indeed, that's kind of what I thought. Does he not see that I am now the one who he has wronged? Why, oh why, must he make me, of all gentle-minded and living, life-loving creatures, why must he make me out a target of his imperishable hate? Whom, are, whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. Oh my god, your dialogue is difficult to read. So let us approach this situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though first let me say this. <laughs> really? <laughs> let me say this. A shizam bil kush zunum. From my heart I thank you for warming me, for warning me. I thank you and I trust you. So pray, let me pose the question. What do you advise we should do? This is a good question. It is but your amulet. The elf wants us proof of your death. So why not give it to me? Ah, you could have him arrested. I like that idea. My amulet, but it is Haxmaji, a sacred token that houses the presence of my ancestors. No, I cannot part with my talisman, the keepsake of my soul. All right. That's tricky. Um, I'm not going to intimidate her, but it's such a weird looking thing. doesn't become you at all, actually. No, you see, it doesn't work for me. It's a keepsake, no matter how precious, worth your life. Um, let's try the reasoning. Oh, hello. Oh man, win rock, paper, scissors. I don't think I really want to. Um, let's go with paper. Oh man, I won. <laughs> Slice and dice. Oh man. Does she just get points back up as well? Three. I'm going to get another paper. Yes. <coughs> Thing is, I don't know if I actually... Ooh. She's only getting three each time. Oh, it's because I have better reason. I see. Um, cutty, cutty. Oh, man. I'm not paying attention. I'm sure there's a routine to this. Um, I'll try... Oh, no. I meant the scissors. Oh, never mind. I'm personally kind of happier about this. You may try to took me out of my amulet, but you will not succeed. I said you shan't have it, and that is final. Hi. That's cool. That is cool. Back again. Yeah, I came back. Um, I want to talk about the elf more. Um, I could have him arrested. Leki for Zada. Yes, a capital notion. Let him be, let him be brought before the law for his schemes. I am an innocent, and uh, Eglandir would see me dead. That is a grave offence, is it not? Yes, it is. It would probably be better if uh, you rather than I informed Captain Arius. Though I've done that. He bears little good goodwill toward me ever since my more savage brethren have been marauding the beaches and killing his legionnaires. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of fair. All right, then. 
All right, then. I guess, can I take books from the library quickly? Indeed you may. The wisdom I hear hoard is yours to peruse and even take with you. Oh, wow. Uh, all I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Brilliant. I don't want to call her a madman. Bye. See ya. That's amazing.